Hey everyone, I'm Christian from River Community Church, and this is Stuart Tisdale. Hey! Stuart, you do a lot of emceeing at our church. Mm -hmm. You also do a few other things. Can you maybe just tell us why you come to the river, what you love about the river? Woo! What do I love about the river? I love the fact that they are open to the Holy Spirit. Yeah, uh, there's nothing like the river. Pursuing the Holy Spirit is a big part of our heart, and we love seeing how that comes out inside different people, different ways, different ministries and whatnot. Um, one of those ministries that we have is the Spirit Cafe, and Stuart is a part of the Spirit Cafe. H have been for how, how, how long? Two and a half years, I think. Two and a half years at Spirit Cafe, so you must have seen some pretty incredible things. Oh, yeah. Man, to think about the different things that have happened in Spirit Cafe, the healings, the deliverances, the encounters with God. You know, it's about presenting a Father's heart. It's presenting the power of the Holy Spirit. It's presenting the power of God. To individuals who are seeking. Right, right. They're hungry. There's for something the inside things. of them that's going, I want to know more about this, and we get to offer that. Can you tell us about one of the experiences where you've seen somebody come in seeking healing and they've walked out with the healing? One young man does come to mind. He had torn his knee and asked for us to pray. So we prayed. He was at a level six of pain. And we had prayed a very simple prayer, asked him to test it, and he was flabbergasted over the fact that he had no pain. Wow. Pain gone. Absolutely gone. And then when we asked him to test it, he tested it in such a way that we were almost concerned that he was going to re-hurt himself. <laughs> Because he was actually gra like grabbing his leg and, and jumping and twisting and turning and you know, trying to re-damage his leg, trying to get some sort of pain so he could say, okay, I'm not really healed. <laughs> so he walked out of that, out of this place with absolutely no pain, no limp, no nothing, just touched by God. That's amazing. How can it be that easy to receive healing? It's really because God loves us. There's no boundary to that love. If the manifestation of his love is a healing, then it's a healing. Mm. If the manifestation of his love is a word that rings true, then it's a word that rings true. If it's an exchange of depression for joy, if it, you know you come in with this weight on your shoulders and you're heavy and you know and you leave with a bounce in your step because you just met God, right. you know that's just his love for all of us. Right. That's a big. That's where our heart is for when people come to I mean, this building or any of our ministries. So. Um, to all of our volunteers, we really, really, really appreciate that you get, you get to be part of those kind of moments inside mm -hmm. people's lives. And for all of you that come, we're so excited to oh, see yeah. what God is going to do inside of their lives. We're so excited to continue meeting together. This weekend, we're going to have Jolene leading us in worship, and Ooh. we're going to have Alf speaking to us. It's going to be a great cool. time this weekend. If you do want to come, just sign up by emailing abbotsfordriver at gmail.com. Get yourself on that list so that we know who's coming and we can make sure that we have the appropriate seating and number of people and all that kind of stuff. We want to pray for you to experience God's love in a way that you might never have seen or experienced before. And I personally believe that God is excited to show you his love. So I bless you with that. Father, I thank you for whoever's watching this video right now. And I just lift them up before you because you know who they are. And I ask, Lord, right now, that you would touch them from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet, or that you would pour out your